Hello and welcome. It's the Stamping Sunday Blog Hop again and the theme this month is a Head Start on the Holidays. So I'm going to be using this gorgeous stamp set from the mini catalogue. It's in the August to, sorry, July to December mini catalogue and it's called Vintage Christmas and it matches with a stamp set that's in the annual catalogue and also a matching punch that will cut out this bottle. However, I'm not going to be using that today. I'm just going to be using the stamps to create a really gorgeous vintage kind of themed one sheet wonder. And then uh, I'm not, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet. I might make, might make bookmarks. I might make a card or have a panel for, I don't know, a bag or something. But anyway, I just want to create something really pretty. So I'm using the craft white ink or the white ink to start off with to stamp my bottles and as ever with the white ink you do need to give it a little bit of a love and attention the stamps uh, you need to sort of stamp them a bit more often into the ink pad now when I say stamp it I mean more sort of like tap as opposed to um, push you don't need to push down you can push down when you when you get your stamp onto your paper but not not so much when you're actually trying to get the ink so tap, tap, you see that one I didn't tap as often and that one's much better than that one. So, so, so give it a good five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you know, taps to get it really loaded up. All right, so I want to use this one as well. Just think they look really nice kind of together. So, there we go. like that the texture's so pretty on the bottle it's got this kind of lines or ribbon effect on it just makes it a little bit more interesting I think I'll just do one more down here and then we'll get started on stamping all the lovely floor elements. So we'll start with Poppy Parade. And this is a really lovely kind of flower. Now, the flower, I do believe, is supposed to, you can stamp it with the leaves as well. But um, and I, this is the first time I've ever used it, so I'm just going to kind of go for it, really. And also I quite like the idea of the the flowers kind of spilling it out a little bit. We're not going for like a super realistic um, depiction of flowers in a bottle. It's more flowers and bottle make the design all together. I'm not. I want the flowers everywhere because it's so pretty. So I'm not really being want of a better phrase I'm not being slave to the design of the stamp I'm I'm using the stamp how I want to use it well this is very enjoyable very pleasant experience doing this I think when stamps are so are designed so well, it just makes it so pleasurable to be able to make designs using them. Okay. Look at that as well. Right, I'm going to clean this off face up because that red will stain my stamps beautifully. Right, and then we've got the we've got kind of this pine cone and we've got these leaves. So as I said, um, they are designed to kind of sit with each other, but I'm not going to overthink it too much because I don't want to spend most of my time just trying to figure it all out. So I'll just use it. As I want to use it. 
Now I'm being a little bit hesitant to put down my ink pad on my sheet here because the white ink is still drying. And knowing me, if I, I'll pick up the white on my pad and then move it around. So I'm doing first and second generation stamping of these leaves. These are utterly delightful, I have to say. Really beautifully designed leaves. And as I said, I'm not over kind of thinking too much where where I'm stamping. I'm just enjoying popping the leaves on wherever I think they should go, really. By doing the second generation, I'm getting a really lovely lighter green. So the green I'm using is Old Olive. So I am filming this a little ahead of time. As I think I'm going to be away this Sunday this goes live. Although I do, just need to check my calendar. <laughs> The fourth Sunday, so I do the fourth Sunday of the month, and Sarah Levin, who organises it, um, she has people hopping every Sunday, but I'm I'm the fourth Sunday team. And so if you want to see what else everyone has created, please do head over to my blog post, which of which the link will be in the description, and there will be better photographs of whatever project I end up making out of these. And you'll be able to get the links also to everybody else's. And they are always inspiring. There's a very, very high quality team Sarah has put together. And I'm absolutely honoured to be part of it. Um, when I got the email a few years ago, I was so honoured. And um, she hasn't kicked me out yet, so uh, I'm still here. <laughs> Even though occasionally I do forget. I forget there's a hop or I forget the wrong I get the wrong Sunday or something. Oops. And there are quite a few design team members on that that list as well. So again, very honoured to be counted with them. Not as a design team member, but in that fourth Sunday hop. Right. I feel like I need a little bit more more green around here. I think there will be some coming down here as well. Oh, these leaves are just so beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Pop some there as well. There's two. Pop that in there. Right. Now to try and fit the pine cones in. So I'm stamping on crumb cake, so I thought soft suede would be a good colour to add. And I'm going to see how this would fit in, although I'm... Ah, ooh, ooh, hold on. We have centres. Okay, right, so the pine cones, if you want the centres to fit inside these flowers, yes, there is a definite way of using it. Okay, so you line up the three centres with the three flowers. There we go. And that is what you do. I think I should be doing second generation as well here, but... Oh, oh I'm, getting, I'm confusing myself. Hold on. No, that one goes around there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right, as I said, first time me stamping with this stamp set, so I'm still getting used to it. Uh, ooh, ooh, hold on, that way. Going to be here a while, folks. <laughs> Fast forward if you want to. Uh, ooh, that way. I'm going to sit down now. <laughs> I'm getting tired. 
Okay, um, let's twist that round. That one goes like that. So thankfully, there's a large, medium and a small flower. So therefore, there's a large, medium and a small sort of dotty circle that goes in the middle. So it kind of makes it easy to line up. You've just got to think about it for a second. So I don't recommend doing this late at night if you're a little bit tired. Or if you've been doing some work that's been hard on your eyes, you may need to... Give your eyes a little rest. I've also got a bit of a glare from my lighting, but never mind. Right, okay, so what am I missing? That one there, that one, and that one. Nearly done. Oh, completely missed that one. Nearly miss that one. Right. Oh, one missing there. I know, I can imagine you all shouting at me. We missed one, Ruth. Right. Very pretty. Very pretty indeed. Right, and then we've also got this singular little leaf, which can then be stamped, I guess, any way you want it to, really. So I'm going to use a bit of garden green. I just thought it'd be nice to have a slightly different green. And this can be then, you know, popped any way you want, really. So any way you feel that there's a bit of a gap in your design, you can just scoot. Oh, look, I've made a boo-boo there. So let's try and hide that. There we go. Nicely hid. Um... Leaves coming down over these bottles. Okay. Remember, you can create your own design. So, Stampin' Up do create card samples in the catalogues, which are very useful sometimes to sort of figure out how you're meant to use a stamp. But at the end of the day, they're just images, and images don't judge. And you just use them how you want to use them. And if anything, I would say my experience, people actually like it when you think outside the box a little bit, think think of using stamps in a slightly different way. Okay. Oh, there's a little gap there. There's a gap there. So I'm going to grab my red stamping blend, like Poppy Parade, that'll do. And very quickly, just go around these berries. Just pop a little bit of colour onto them, or into them rather. Give them a little bit more life. Because, you know, berries aren't brown, usually. Not until the end of the season. <laughs> so it's nice to be able to just pop a little colour on those. Right, now I need to think about how I'm going to use this. I was planning to make a few more bookmarks to give away at backstage to my fellow demo friends. Um... I might be able to get a couple out of there. I don't know. Seems a bit of a waste, really. Oh, I've just realised I've missed something up there. Oh, and I've missed one there. Oh! <laughs> center there oh well and there. oh dear right 
Right, the final thing that I want to do is there's this lovely, there's two nice sentiments in this set. Oh, actually three. We've got Making Spirits Bright, Happy Holidays and A Very Merry Christmas to You. Now, generally in the UK, we don't tend to use the phrase Happy Holidays. So A Very Merry Christmas to You, I thought was very sweet. And I want to add just a little bit of kind of script texture by multiple stamping this within the design. And that's just an additional design in amongst the leaves and this can then fill all those little spaces that haven't got any leaves on them so I'm two step not two step second doing second generation to get sort of the dark soft suede and then the lighter soft suede in there and that way when you cut this up and use it every single part of the whatever you cut is going to have a design on it. But I am wondering whether to put some in between the bottles a little bit. Because that area feels rather bare now. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. It's my bit of paper. Oh, so pretty. Almost seems a shame to cut up, but I will be cutting it up. I know some of you guys go, oh, no, don't cut it up, but I will. And then I'm wondering if a little bit of splattage using um, my soft suede marker pen. Because at the end of the day, it's supposed to be vintagey. So let's, let's do a little bit of Latting. There we go. Because we haven't got any dotage in this stamp. Shock horror. So I'll just pop a little bit of that all over. And so that was a bit of soft suede. And then this is mossy meadow. I'll just do a bit of mossy meadow as well. I know it seems rather dark at the moment. But the colour will calm down in a second. Just got to let that ink sit and soak. Soak into the card. Right. So I'm feeling a very vintagey vibe with this. And I'm wondering whether to make um, some cards. Maybe decorate a couple of boxes. Um, I don't think I have any of the current boxes, but I do have some retired ones that maybe would look nice. Let me just have a think and a look and I'll come back. Right, I had a little rummage in my boxes and I have found the gold mini pizza boxes. Now, I know that these may be retired in your uh, region but in the UK these are available and in Europe in the clearance rack really good value for money um, I just had a double check to see if they are available and they are and they are £2.60 for eight okay so you get eight of these now I know they're super shiny but these make fabulous little uh, boxes to uh, put your gifts in or cookies or whatever you want to do and they're really easy to put together you just kind of like fold fold all the sections up like so and when you've stamped you know one sheet wonder like this it, it's just really easy to decorate because you could just cut a panel and stick it on the front so that's how you pop that together and then that folds down I know it's super shiny and then that goes into there like so. And there you have it. Okay, there's your, your box. So this measures just over three inches by three inches. And so I know that I'm going to, if I cut my piece of uh, cardstock, probably, um, let's have a look. I'll do this section here because that's got a good amount of the bottles on it. I cut this to about eight centimeters. Um, 
and then cut it down this way as well. That will give me plenty to stick onto the front like so. And if I wanted to, I could even maybe put a little panel at the bottom. But I think because I want enough to do another, to make another, to, de uh, to decorate another box, I'm actually that is going to be enough. And I'm just going to leave that as that. Right. And then in terms of the rest of this paper, it's so pretty and so detailed that I think I'm going to try and get maybe six panels out of this now to make six cards get ready for you know get ahead for Christmas and all that so there's about oh 21 centimeters left so I know if I cut this at seven centimeters like so and then cut them I probably want more bottle than I do foliage so I'm just going to cut that down this to oh, if I cut that to about four inches oh no ten centimeters sorry ten centimeters there oh that was a bit naughty for me I tried to cut three three layers then hmm. I'm trying to see which layer I want to cut the top bit off I also found some craft cardstock and thought I could use some of that as a backing layer. Right. But the only thing about putting that on there, it seems to get a little bit lost. So I'm wondering whether to do some nice red instead. So I have a piece of red cardstock and I'm going to cut that at 10 and a half centimetres on the long long side uh, because that is going to then be creating panels for me to stick that onto so and then I'm going to cut at seven and a half and I need to create one two three four six of those so seven and a half seven and a half so I'm going to get six cards out of this which is really cool and I've got some Spare little scraps there. And I think I'm going to stick these onto a very vanilla card and come back to you. So I have pre-cut some very vanilla card bases, some red pieces, uh, real red pieces to stick under my stamps, stamped section. And also I've sneakily cut out a couple of daisies from each panel. And I'm going to keep those for another day, for another project, uh, because, you know, red flowers, you know, always useful and can be used for all kinds of things. So, and you're not going to know. Once I've got this stuck down, who's going to know that I actually cut cut a section out of there okay so my tip for sticking when you've got a hole in is just apply the glue um, around those holes and obviously a little bit in from the edge because you don't want that glue kind of squeezing out too far and then just apply glue as normal onto the back and then stick stick in the middle now, this is a tried and tested card format that I come back to again and again, especially for stamped one sheet wonders. I just feel when you've put all that work into doing a beautiful kind of stamped background, to me, just framing it nicely with a complementary colour and then also putting it onto a neutral background is a great way of kind of showing off that stamping. And because we already got the sentiment in there stamped in the background, I don't feel that you need to put anything extra on there. And you've just got a nice blank space then for writing your message. Right, I'm going to carry on sticking these down. Um, let me finish by sticking this to the box as well so that you can see how that is. And then encourage you guys to go grab yourself a cup of tea and head to my blog post and go and look at all the other hoppers in this Stamping Sunday blog hop. So there we go, a card and a box from the 
uh, but vintage <laughs> i forgot the name of it the vintage christmas stamp set using the white ink the garden green old olive poppy parade and soft suede so not too many colors there at all there's five ink pads and stamped onto crumb cake and yeah i'm really happy with that i think it's a super pretty design and i'm looking forward to using that stamp set with other uh, stamps anyway take care for now thank you for joining me bye